of what are the sources of power and how people acquire power uh, during negotiations. Usually it comes from the information and expertise, uh, control over resources, uh, power derives from a uh, location in their organizational structure. Uh, managing uh, information power and persuasion process. Uh, characteristics of messages and message content. Message structure and persuasive uh, style. How to pitch the message uh, to the uh, other party. Uh, so let's talk about uh, characteristics of the source. How credible is your negotiations uh, party? Uh, it's important to be per uh, personally attractive. Uh, that ma makes a difference. And uh, characteristics of receiver. So there is a person who receives the information and who sends the information. So attention to the other uh, person and exploring or ignoring other position matters and resistance of the other uh, person uh, affect the how you can influence them okay um, so we can uh, discuss the uh, content factors uh, like uh, reciprocity uh, commitment uh, social proof uh, use of reward and uh, punishment and location in the uh, uh, structure. The scarcity during negotiation makes a big difference. Okay, um, so let's take a look. Uh, uh, so in this video we will discuss the ethics of negotiations how the negotiation needs to uh, know what's ethical and what's not. And why uh, do they apply negotiations to ethics, uh, to uh, ethics in negotiations? Uh, we will discuss the major ethical concerns that apply to negotiations. Uh, if end result uh, justify the, the means, uh, Machiavellian kind of uh, a way of uh, doing things, uh, rules of ethics, uh, social contrast ethics, and personalistic ethics. Uh, what uh, major types of ethical and unethical conduct are likely to occur during negotiations? Um, so what is the range of available influential tactics and types of uh, tactics that viewed considered to be ethical and what view to be considered to be problematic? Uh, we can discuss the typology of deception tactics and intentional and motivational use of deception tactics. Uh, the motivation to behave unethically in negotiation is really uh, needs to be defined and where it comes from. Okay, and uh, what are the consequences of unethical conduct? Basically, the other party will trust you less if you don't uh, uh, feel ethical and they might not come back to the negotiation table uh, uh, with you next time. So it's important to look into the explanations and uh, justifications. Why you behave that way if there is a, a justification. It might not save you, but it, at least it kind of uh, can minimize the damage. Uh, what uh, factors uh, shape the negotiation uh, disposition to use unethical uh, tactics? Did they save a baby? Did they save uh, someone's life? Would that really justify an ethical uh, approach? And what are demographic factors and situation and influences of unethical conduct? Uh, let's look at the personal differences and moral development. Different countries, different uh, cultures have different uh, things uh, to be considered ethical. In the European gentleman world, um, if you gave a word to that you're doing something, for example, you're filming something or you're doing something and uh, for free, and even later you got a, a paid gig, it's considered to be unethical to change after. But uh, Patrick, the, it's moving. Uh, but in the other world, it uh, might uh, not be a uh, case. Okay.
you can just not block it. I'm gonna get some water and then we'll be back.